This is a 3D printed car part that goes into McLaren's Formula One vehicles. As many as 10,000 parts are needed just to design, manufacture and test a Formula One car's front wing assembly, many of which are single use. McLaren says 3D printing allows them to help reduce waste and emissions, heralding a new era of sustainable prototyping. Formula One's the most technologically advanced sport on the planet and therefore it's great to be using waste to cut down waste and to be more efficient in terms of how it produces its cars. At their headquarters southwest of London, McLaren has a lab dedicated to 3D printing. More than 20 machines can produce anything from ducts to body parts to jigs. Models and prototypes of the wind tunnel are also 3D printed. To do this, McLaren partnered with Israeli-US company Stratasys, allowing the team to print the range of filaments including carbon fibre and recycled materials. Stratasys says it prints up to 9,000 parts per year. Senior Vice President Yan Ragol. Having the ability to print 100% recycled filament with their new software OpenM is really a change for the industry, which enables them to significantly reduce their waste, which is one of the top preoccupations for most of our customers today. McLaren's Chief Operating Officer, Piers Thin, says 3D printing is also a more efficient way to build a car. So you're able to make them with little input and they come off on a multi-stage build of, a, of a, a large bed 3D printer. So it's a very efficient way of making uh, complex parts when you need lots and lots of parts to come together to deliver a front wing. Formula One aims to be net zero by 2030, 